We as staff know that we have lost some of your trust in the actions over the last three weeks. In an open apology to residents, Minneapolis city leaders went over the damages the community has suffered in recent weeks from the mental wounds many are still healing from after the death of George Floyd to the damage on the streets. Such as traffic, melted traffic signal heads, uh, street lights that were damaged, over a thousand city signs. An initial sweep of the city shows more than 700 buildings were damaged. A dozen of them were destroyed. City leaders say three affordable housing developments and 35 homes were also damaged. To help those property owners out, the city has launched a new property tax relief program. Our office is in the process of sending notification via U.S. mail to all properties that have been identified as receiving any kind of property damage. But besides the physical damage that you can see, city leaders say that the negative community impact you can't see is possibly even greater. Because now their, their, their for source of food is gone, their hardware store is gone, their liquor store is gone, their employment is gone. So this is not just the structures that have been impacted, it's the community that's been impacted. City leaders say more than 100,000 residents are currently on unemployment, many of them due to the damage or issues around COVID-19. City leaders say there are several local and state programs residents can use to find work, but amidst all of this hardship, leaders say they draw hope from the countless volunteers and community groups that are stepping in to help. It was very inspiring and, and actually uh, made our work easier. Gordon Severson, Carol Levin News.